What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today is a good day. Today, we get to shoot maybe the greatest pistol ever made by a man. Today, we are going to be going over one of the guns I've been looking to get for a very long time, and now I got it. We're gonna be going over the Atlas Gunworks Erebus. This model here is a 4.6 inch slide with a single port comp, a full five inch dust cover, flat face blue trigger, their new V2 aluminum grip with the grip panels, magwell, uh, two pound trigger, their 45 degree safety, SRO mounted to it with a lightened slide and a match bull barrel. Pretty much every single thing you could ever throw at this to make this go fast is in this pistol. And it's kind of like a Staccato XC, except done by an artist. Let's go with that. The XC is kind of like a bare bones race gun. You kind of think of like stock car, like the, the uh, pinnacle of stock cars, maybe NASCAR. Well, this is gonna be a Formula One car. This is gonna be something with no price limit. This is gonna be something with no limit on performance either. It's an open gun. It's meant for three gun open where anything goes. It has the double-sided extended safety, the combat hammer. We have a full pin grip safety, so there's no grip safety to worry about. You've got the full size magwell, you got the trigger undercut, and you have a full rail on there if you wanna put a light on there as well. Not only is this a competition gun, but in my experience, Atlas Gunwork guns are probably the most reliable 2011s we've ever shot. This one here takes 21 to 24 to 27 round nine millimeter magazines. You are extremely well armed with this. Now, the downside to that is the price, of course. And the price is gonna be very expensive at around $7,000. But we are lucky enough to be giving this one away. We're partnered up again with GetInterToWin.com because you guys have been such a big fan of it over the past few months. We did the Spear, we did the Atlas Ares, we did the John Wick pistol, and now I tried to find something to one-up all those, and I think I finally found it. All you have to do is get a collectible in the link in the description below. Get entered to win.com slash honest outlaw, and you are automatically entered to win this. I personally think it's worth it, considering this is the first shots that you're seeing, but this is not the first shots I've shot of this pistol. We'll roll it a little POV. All you have to do is go to the link in the description before the deadline, Wednesday, June 21st, 2023, at midnight. All right, so we're gonna start this guy out at 75, but unlike we normally do, I actually already have this zeroed, and I'm actually surprisingly confident we're gonna hit at 75 yards. That being said, I'm super tired today, but I don't think that's gonna affect uh, the performance, partly because this gun's so good, it might actually shoot itself. I gotta be careful, it might get sentient. See how, how we do here. Do we need to go back? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Why, does that look too easy to you? <laughs> it, it looks like it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> and before we shoot at 100 here, I do wanna mention thanks to all of you who've supported us, supported the giveaways, and done all that stuff. We actually went to our land last night. We're gonna be having our new range. We're gonna be having a 400 yard rifle range and a 700 yard rifle range. So hopefully I'll be taking pistols like this out next year and shooting them at four to 700 yards and maybe seeing if I can luck one in. Till then though, we'll just keep shooting at 100. Now there's no slide lock on this because of the mags. And if you don't know how that works, they can get a couple more rounds in each magazine if they don't have a slide lock. But you can always get one with it if you want. That's the benefits of Atlas. I'm trying to get that little one. I hit that big one every time, but he gets boring. I'm gonna try to get that little <laughs> one on the, on the right there. You need a challenge. <laughs> Take that. Got it. Six inch target, 100 yards, no big deal. All handguns can do that, right? 120 yards. Woo! 
Gotta recenter. Yeah. It's a long way. Mm-hmm. Take that. Let's go a little closer. That's amazing. All right, so we're at the uh, measly distance of 50 yards. We'll pop a few off here and maybe see if we can get a couple six inch plates. I got a pepper popper, easy. Yeah, you oh did. my god, this is so easy to shoot. Plate, plate. Oh, I'm getting greedy. It's because of the angle. Yeah, that one's always hard to get. There we go, got it. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun up close. See, this is a very, very accurate pistol, as you can see here. But what it's meant to do is go real fast, 25 yards and in. So let's try that out. Okay, baby. It's like 90 degrees out here, and we've already shot 170 rounds, and uh, the, the fucking grip's starting to get hot. Oh my god! But, but let's. Uh, we just shot some Instagram stuff. I was dumping mag after mag as fast as I could. But uh, let's see what we can do now as far as the speed uh, spectrum goes. I gotta get another mag. It's just too much fun. Oh my God, is it? Here, hold on. Shoot some poppers. How's that left hand, Slim? Get it, get it. Not bad, not bad, Gene Hackman. Okay, honey. Man, it's so hot. Should we see how it pocket reloads? Sure. Got a couple mags. Sure. Not bad for pocket reload. That was fast. Eh. Just for shits and gigs. Do you think we should do the dueling tree? Sure. Time? You, you want to time me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Give me one second on the tractor there. Hashtag Iowa. That's an Iowa traffic jam. Yep. We'll just wait him out. He's moving awful quick. Yeah, he is. All right. You ready? All right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Big ass finger got stuck in the trigger Two, guard. Two, six, seven. All right, let's try one more. Okay. Shooter ready? Stand by. Two oh nine. Two oh nine. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Holy macaroni. I gotta see how it build drills. All we right. get one shot at this, one try. They got six or seven rounds in the mag. Might shoot six, might shoot seven. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. see. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. One, four, five. Trigger freeze. I had a little bit of trigger freeze. I, I wanna try it one more time. Okay. You want to do it again? Yeah, we're gonna do this one from compressed ready. All right. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it I means I'm gonna hold it up here and compressed. Oh, alrighty. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. One point four four. Smoked him. Knocked him over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lanta! All right. So first impressions, or should I say, like first 800 rounds for the Atlas Airbus are pretty positive. I would argue that this is for sure the finest pistol I've ever shot. Previous to this, it was the Atlas Athena, of which I own one, and I have been uh, practicing with it in competition, which is why this one felt like a glove. But this one is a slightly longer uh, version with a single port comp on it, which works extremely well. The mix between the 4.6 slide, which I think is the perfect slide length for a 2011 and nine millimeter, the extended dust cover, and the perfectly uh, sized port allows the gun not just to have low recoil, but like Atlas always says, and 
I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass, but they always talk about the re perfect return to zero, where the gun not only rocks up, but rocks back in a position. You really feel that with this. And for me, as a guy with good recoil control generally, and I shoot a lot of smaller pistols, I try to shoot them very fast, I have to like hold off the gas on this gun because you don't want to squeeze it too much. You just kind of want to let it do its thing. That's kind of the joke I was trying to make earlier about letting it shoot itself, essentially. You kind of have to do that with the Staccato XC as well. This is just along the lines of the Staccato XC. Of course, it's gonna be more, but what do you get for it? Well, in my opinion, you get a better slide weight, you get less reciprocating mass, you get a more return to zero, if that makes any sense. You get just a perfect dot every single time. When you pull the trigger, the dot is on the, is on the target, it jumps up for a second and lands directly right back on the target. Very impressive. You get those 45 degree safeties, you get the grip inserts. On top of that, you get a pin grip safety with this amazing grip. Atlas has some of the best grips on the market in my opinion. Not only are they modular, but the texture on these is not too heavy, it's not super rough, but it's not light by any means either. And they have two different versions of it that you can get if you choose. The Magwell is awesome. Not only is it super useful as far as reloads, but it's very minimalist in the fact that it doesn't stick into my hand too much. As far as the trigger goes, I've said this in many Atlas videos, but this is the best trigger you'll ever experience ever. I have an Infinity, I've had a Honcho, I've had lots of guns, I've had custom 2011s made for me, and I've never experienced, I've, I've experienced triggers on par with Atlas, but never anything better. Breaking right here at 1.9 pounds with an extremely good reset. I suppose I can show you here, we'll ghost it. Doesn't get much more short of reset than that. Now, if you add that reset in, with the reciprocating mass, the comp, and everything working perfectly together. You'll find that it's almost impossible to shoot this gun slow. Is it right for everybody? Absolutely not. This gun, again, is for those of you who are willing to spend the money to get the highest performance possible. A lot of you guys out there say 7,000 is way too much for a pistol, and you're absolutely right. But if you shoot it every day, if you shoot 200 rounds a day, like I do, if you're training all the time, if you really enjoy the shooting sports and you really want to see the pinnacle, you really want to see the top of the mountain, you want to climb Mount Everest, you want to give Michael Jordan a high five, this is how you do it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We will have a full review of this, a full thousand round review in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned for that. We'll probably actually do more than a thousand rounds since we're almost there already. That being said, we'll have the full review for you with all the details. But until then, please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.